okay? So I want to give you a little story, BQ. BQ stands for before quads, okay? <laughs> like that's how I function in my life. Everything that happened before quads and then everything that happened after quads, okay? So back BQ, I had grown an organic audience of over 300,000 people, all organically. I know, Kirby, I saw your face, right? I know. And here's the thing, I didn't do it intentionally, okay? I was ginormously pregnant, like really, a lot. As big as you're imagining, and then add some, okay? I was ginormously pregnant, and I was on bed rest. So it was like, that was my communication with the outside world. So I was super consistent, and at that time, I didn't know that like I could be making money, you know? So I was just out there adding value to people. <laughs> I was building relationships, I was making connections, and I was doing it consistently. And so it grew like rapid fire because that's what people want, right? So then I had the babies and like life got really hard, <laughs> really fast. <laughs> so I had to like stop so I could try and survive my life, you know, cause, uh, right? But I would every now and then just like throw up a pose, throw up a picture, just to kind of appease everybody, like to let them know that the babies had not like fully taken over, right? Like we're still alive, okay, all is well, I'm still alive. But I wasn't doing it consistently. It wasn't to add value. It wasn't to connect with people. It was just like, here, fine, this is annoying. Get out of my way, right? And then I ended up going offline completely. I was like, this is too hard. I have to focus or they will overtake me, right? And so it was full on survival mode. Then a couple years later, everybody in my natural sphere kept coming to me and they were like, how are you doing this? How do you have three brick and mortar companies plus six kids, plus a husband, plus a smile on your face? Like, how are you doing this woman, right? And I was like, okay, so I'm getting a whole lot of this. This is what people are wanting to know. And I was like, all right, I love coaching. I've been in, in the coaching kind of behind the scenes for quite some time. So I was like, here's the thing, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back online with the intention of growing my coaching business, okay? And instead of doing what worked so well for me before, like one, I didn't even tap into the, that audience. I was like, no, this is separate. This is my business. I'm not gonna talk to those people, right? I'm focused, this is business, I need to make money, right? So I already was in the wrong frame of mind, okay? So I go back online and I'm trying to grow a business. But again, instead of doing what worked so well for me, I was like gonna just copy what all those successful business people were doing, right? That had hundreds of thousands of followers, cool, I'll just go copy what they're doing, but like, in my brand colors, you know, cause I don't, I'm not gonna totally steal their stuff. I'm gonna, you know, change it a little so that it's my brand, right? And I was doing the, you know, the text overlays over pictures and just the really general inspirational quotes, the stock images, right? Any, anybody done that before, right? Yeah, hmm. Like, oh, it works for them. So it should work for me, right? And like they would post and I would tweak it and make it my own, right? And I would post the same thing. And like they were getting tons of engagement and I was just not. I was like, what? <laughs> but why? Like it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> like why am I not getting the amount of engagement that they're getting? And I realized it's, oh, they already have those hundreds upon thousands of followers who they've built those connections with. So they could post a picture of their Nike shoe and people are like, oh my gosh, you wear Nikes? I wear Nikes. Do you run? I'm a runner, right? Are they comfortable? And they want to know everything that that person is doing. So they're super engaged. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of my shoe because people want, want to know about shoes, right? So I would take a picture and post it on my shoe and then there was nothing and I'm like, People wanted to know about shoes. And that wasn't the case. That's not who I was talking to. I was talking to overwhelmed moms. Like they didn't care about the shoe. They just wanted to survive their life. 